January 18th, 1230 AM. Police responded to a report of a Port Townsend man, 32, riding a combination skateboard bicycle near the hospital when he was approached by another man, 33, who claimed the property was his. Hey, I'm pretty sure that's mine. The man on the skateboard bike tried to leave the scene, but crashed and was overtaken by the older man. The suspect allegedly pulled a knife and took the property. Police talked to a witness and later found the suspect elsewhere in town. He was found with two knives in his possession and was arrested for robbery and possession of methamphetamine. June 24th, 6.45 a.m. Police were called to an address near Wilson Street and found a man lying in the sun on the side of the road. He was covered in little purple flower buds from his head to his waist and wearing a towel as a skirt. No crime had been committed. (laughs) August 12th, 7 o'clock p.m. Officers responded to an area on 11th Street where a man and a woman were involved in a verbal argument. The woman had a guitar held over her head and appeared ready to hit the man with it. The man said the woman had tried to run him over with her vehicle. Another woman said the female suspect had smashed the windshield of her car with a bicycle. Police arrested the female suspect, who was wanted on a felony warrant. She was taken to the hospital for an evaluation and transported to jail. August 27th. 7.15 a.m. While on foot patrol near the city dock, an officer discovered a woman had set up what looked like a bedroom on the dock. She had a bed, a nightstand, and other belongings. The woman told the officer she was just resting. She was told to remove her bedding and clean up the area, she agreed to comply. July 4th, 1.50 p.m. A sheriff's deputy on routine patrol observed a body lying in the grass along South Discovery Road. The deputy stopped to investigate and determined it to be a woman lying in the grass eating a sandwich. She advised the deputy that she was fine. May 23rd, 9.30 a.m. Police were notified about a caller who had made more than 1,000 calls to 911 since March. When the caller's number is called, a juvenile male can be heard talking in the background. Officers were unable to determine the source of the phone calls. April 28th at 6.18 a.m. On a rainy morning, Jefferson County Sheriff's Office received a report of a man in a brown four-door car with no windshield. The man was driving very slowly near the Jefferson County Library, quote, looking around at things in a weird way. The subject was described as dressed in all black clothing and wearing a ski mask with goggles. Deputies checked the area but were unable to locate the subject. November 27th, 8.20 a.m. Port Townsend Police Department received a report about a large buck with Christmas lights in its antlers. The animal was last seen by the caller near the Howard Street roundabout running through a field toward the mill. Officers were unable to locate the deer. August 12th. An adult called to report a 10-year-old Port Hadlock boy who was requesting to go to jail. The adult did not know why the boy was making such statements and asked that a deputy speak with him. The deputy met up with the child and explained why it is not good to go to jail. After speaking with the deputy, the boy agreed that jail was not a good place to go. April 20th, 7.30 a.m. An officer responded to a call from a business on Kearney Street to assist in removing an otter 
from a dumpster.